Today we're checking out Bruce Dew, Cops and Robbers. Let's dive right on in. Alright, now like any kid that grew up in the 80s and 90s, I spent a lot of my time playing games outside. And one of those games was good old-fashioned cops and robbers. Uh, Marvin now, I don't Harry. Know the exact rules to cops and robbers. Uh, I recently watched Home Alone with. like during like Christmas time. How to play cops and robbers like an idiot? And the one article I read said you had to use like hula hoops and bean bags. And I'm like, what the hell? That's not how I played cops and robbers when I was a kid. The way we played it was you had one kid be the robber, and then the rest of you just chased his ass all over the neighborhood with like a wiffle ball bat or something. Sure, I guess we weren't playing by the official cops and robbers rule book according to Google, but I think our version yeah. was way better than. Than any of that hula hoop beanbag bullshit. I mean, for one, we were definitely more imaginative with the game. We would like dress up for it and mm -hmm. shit. We'd make up characters and crazy ass storylines like we were some kind damn, of. Damn, they going hard group. with this. Right, I'm gonna be the like a damn story or like backstory or whatever. Yeah. For better social security benefits, David, you're gonna story, be the backstory, cop same has thing. a drinking problem because you're going through a bitter divorce. And Michael, you're a convicted pedophile that's escaped from prison. Ready? Let's oh play. God. Hey, wait a minute. Why do I gotta be the stupid pedophile again? Because Michael, we can't all be cops. All right. That's not how you play cops and robbers, after all. Well, then why can't I just be a robber? Because you're a goddamn convicted pedophile. That's your role. For fuck's sake, just follow the goddamn rules. Now, but why is he gonna be a predator, though? I don't though. really recall, but I'm pretty sure every game of cops and pedophiles went a whole... <laughs> the cops and pedophiles! Right? ...chase Michael around the neighborhood with a... Hey, Balloon Boy laugh! ...broken Nerf gun, then we'd get him cornered... I heard that Balloon Boy laugh. ...dialogue to help push the narrative. Aha! Gotcha, Michael! Looks like your fucking fondling days are over. My home life is falling apart, but justice still has to be served. And then Michael would get hit in the teeth with a <laughs> wiffle ball bat, oh. and he'd run home crying like Nancy Kerrigan before the 94 Olympics, and then me and David would go play Sega Genesis at his house. And that's pretty much nice. how every game of cops... Why are you not playing kids. Sonic? Until one day, after watching an episode of Sunk. Law & Order one afternoon, I came up with a new variation of cops and robbers, and that variation was what I like to call crooked cops and robbers. Yeah, that's right. In this version, we were no longer crooked. the squeaky clean cops with mustaches. Now we were the dirty cops with fucking five o'clock shadows. And just like before, I would set the storyline and give everybody their roles. Okay, oh I'm going to be the cop that extorts people and takes bribes from the Colombian cartel. David, you're going to be the cop that is questioning his morals as well as going through a second bitter divorce. And Michael, okay. uh, well, fuck it. You're going to be an escaped pedophile that slings smack on the streets. Okay, got it. Wait a minute, what? I still got to be a stupid pedophile? God damn it, Michael. You're uh <laughs> Michael's a always a pedo. A drug dealing pedophile. Oh, well, all right then. Now, really, this version was no different than the regular cops and robbers. But, uh, well, the dialogue was a little bit more extreme, if you will. Listen here, Mr. Drug Dealer. If you're going to sling your smack out on the streets, you're going to have to play ball with us. I'll sling my oh boy. Pitchers wherever I want. I ain't playing ball with shit. I'm having trouble recognizing uh -oh. what is right and what is wrong. Well, it looks like we're playing hardball. It's nerf oh. or nothing, bitch. Now keep this in mind, we'd be doing this shit in broad daylight in the middle of the fucking neighborhood. There'd be people walking their dogs and shit. Oh, oh boy, and they're just gonna... Sweet children playing they're... their little games. Yeah, they're, they're playing cops and robbers. We have to the on the dead body before the cartel finds us. Oh, what? the cocaine! I don't know if I can do it. My morality is becoming a cause of concern. What in the hell are they doing? God damn it, plant the cocaine, Johnson. Do it now. I can't do it. What would my estranged wife think of me? I'm dead. God damn it, Michael, keep your mouth shut. Do it now, Johnson, or I'll blow your fucking face off with my 44. Hey! Hey, you kids! What on earth Also, are that you dog doing? has the same color variant We're of Scooby Doo. I just noticed that. What does it look like? Crooked cops and robbers? How the hell do you play crooked cops and robbers? Um, like this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you want to go play Sega Genesis? Yeah, let's, let's do it. In Sega Genesis. On the next episode of Crooked Cops and Robbers, will Officer Johnson retire from the force? Will the convicted pedophile play ball with the law? And most importantly, will the boys beat Stage 7 in the Streets of Rage for the Sega Genesis? Find out next Saturday oh around 5.30 after Are You Afraid of the Dark is over on Nickelodeon. Crooked Cops and Robbers! Rubbers. Hit you in the teeth the with a ball bat. BruceDew.com Also, next time I see a predator, gotta get my baseball bat. Because people like EDP445 always deserve that baseball bat. Just hit him in the head, go to jail. <laughs> but oh yeah, I enjoyed this shit. This was funny as hell. Hey guys, click on this video. You'll enjoy it. I swear.